In his book Ion, Jung talks about the Kateri, who were a Neo-Manichaean sect which emerged around 1000 AD and believed that the material world was evil, that man was an alien and a sojourner in this evil world, and that man's purpose was to free his spirit, which was by nature good, and restore it to communion with God. Jung quotes a text that was described by a member of the Keters. It concerns an alleged revelation which Christ's favorite disciple John was vouchsafed as he rested in the Lord's bosom. John wished to know what Satan's state was before his fall, and the Lord answered. He was in such splendor that he ruled the powers of heaven. He wanted to be like God, and to this end he descended through the elements of air and water, and found that the earth was covered with water. Penetrating beneath the surface of the earth, he found two fishes lying upon the waters, and they were like oxen yoked for plowing, holding the whole earth by command of the invisible Father from sunset to sunrise, or from west to east. And when he went down, he found hanging clouds which covered the broad sea. And when he went down, he found set apart therefrom his osop, which is a kind of fire. On account of the flames, he could not descend any further. So he went back to heaven and announced to the angels that he was going to set up his throne on the clouds and be like the all highest. He then treated the angels as the unjust steward treated his master's debtor, whereupon he and the angels were cast out of heaven by God. But God took pity on him and allowed him and his angels to do what they liked for a week. During this time, Satan, using Genesis 1 as model, created the world and mankind. This text brings up an important image for the Christian eon, that of the fall of Satan from heaven. We know from Job that in Old Testament times, Satan could still come and go from heaven. He was a guest. The first part of the book of Job takes place in that situation as Satan is visiting heaven and Yahweh and Satan are in conversation. But in Luke 10, 18, Christ announces that he has seen Satan as a lightning fall from heaven. What Christ saw was evidently a future event, for according to Revelation 12, 79, Satan was going to fall from heaven at the end of the eon. In Revelation it says, Woe for the earth and for the sea because the devil is gone down unto you, having great wrath, knowing that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast down to earth, he persecuted the woman that brought forth the man-child. This event in Revelation belongs to the end of the Christian eon, even though Christ had an image of it as described in Luke, and even though this scatter text projects it back prior to creation. It is as though the image is a creation image, but it is one that is particularly applicable to the ending of the Christian eon. It is interesting that the image of the fall of Satan from heaven should come up in the same scriptures that announce the incarnation of God in Christ, because the incarnation is also a fall from heaven. It is a fall of the good side of God, the good Son, from heaven into flesh. Simultaneously with that event, we hear of the prospect of Satan, the bad son of God, who also is going to fall out of heaven and start rampaging around the earth. Milton also used this image. He picked up this idea of Lucifer's rebellion and fall from heaven. This Lucifer, who rebels against God and gets kicked out of heaven thereby, can be seen as a symbolic description of an initial preconscious act that lays the foundation for the ego. It is an image of primordial ego development. Lucifer is the archetype of the ego, and Prometheus is another version of the same archetype. Jung then gives an interpretation of the Keter text as a whole. Expressed psychologically, the two fishes which the devil found on the primeval waters would signify the newly arisen world of consciousness. The comparison of the fishes with a yoke of oxen plowing merits special attention. Oxen stands for the motive power of the plow. 
This reminds us of the Cnidian fish, the motivating fish. Since olden times, the plow had stood for man's mastery over the earth. Wherever man plows, he has wrested a patch of soil from the primal state and put it to his own use. That is to say, the fishes will rule this world and subdue it by working astrologically through man and molding his consciousness. Jung also notes that the plowing begins in the west and moves toward the east, indicating in alchemical terms that the alchemical work starts with the descent into darkness, nigredo, that is the unconscious. Only at the end of it, one arrives at the east and the newborn sun.